Hello everyone, I'm back again with a unique place that might affect the world climate changes with a common issue of global warming from few years now and it still keeps continuing. Have you heard of Greenland, a place that's mostly covered in ice? This might have made you wonder just like it has puzzled people for a long time. Now, let's learn more about its history, geography and the surprising things about this special place. Greenland is a huge icy area that's the biggest island on the map. It's located between the super cold North Pole and the warmer Atlantic Ocean. So, it's a place of big differences. But what's really interesting is its name. You might think because it's called Greenland that it is a rich country full of big green fields. But the truth is totally different. Don't be fooled by the name. Greenland, even though its name sounds nice, is not a place full of green plants. Most of it is covered in a never-ending layer of ice and snow. So it looks more like a white desert than a green paradise. The weather is mostly cold, with really tough, freezing winters that can make the temperature drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. A temperature that can make you freeze. Even in the summer, when the place gets the most sun, the temperatures don't get much higher. It hardly ever gets above 10 degrees Celsius, which makes it one of the coldest places on Earth, always covered in frost and ice. It's a real winter wonderland where it's always cold and the icy views go on forever. But why call it Greenland? This is a that has confused many people. The early Viking settlers, who were some of the first to find this icy place, were the ones who named it Greenland. They had a strong reason to do this. They wanted to bring more settlers, people to live with them in this harsh, cold land. To do this, they used the name Greenland as a kind of clever trick, a way to make people think it was a place where crops could grow. But in fact, Greenland is not very green at all. More than 80% of it is covered in a thick layer of ice, so it's more like a white land than a Greenland. It's a place where it's always cold and the ice never melts. Even though the name Greenland might make you think it's a green place, the truth about its freezing weather is no laughing matter. Greenland's super cold weather is changing. And why? It's because of something we all know, global warming. This problem is making our Earth too hot. And this is changing the weather in Greenland in big ways. Greenland, famous for its huge icy lands, is feeling this change a lot. Its frozen land gets warmer two times faster than the rest of the world. Because it's getting so warm so quick, the big ice sheet that covers almost all of Greenland is melting really fast. This huge ice sheet, about three times bigger than Texas, is slowly turning into a big pool of water. In the last 20 years, scientists have seen that the ice is melting almost five times faster. This big melt isn't just a problem for Greenland. It's a problem for the whole world. When ice melts, it turns into fresh water that goes into the oceans. Fresh water, which is lighter than ocean water, messes up the balance of the ocean and changes our weather. It also raises the level of the sea worldwide. Even a small rise in sea level can cause big problems like more floods at the coast, bigger storm waves, and loss of important coastal areas. When the ice melts, it shows darker land that takes in more sunlight, which makes global warming even worse. This keeps happening in a loop. In simple words, the more the ice melts, the hotter our Earth gets, and this makes even more ice melt. If all the ice in Greenland melted, it would make the sea levels go up by over 20 feet. This is enough to cover many coastal cities around the world. But the changes in Greenland's weather tell us more than just about melting ice. They show how global warming affects everything. This is a story that affects all of us, no matter where we live. The changes in Greenland's weather are a big worry for everyone, not just the people in Greenland. So, how can we help save Greenland from climate change? The answer is simple. Everybody needs to work together. This includes you and me, our governments, and countries all around the world. First, we can all take small steps that can make a big difference. 
This could be using less electricity, driving cars less, recycling more, or turning off lights when we don't need them. Second, our leaders have a big part to play too. They should make rules that help to protect our environment and stop things that harm it. This can be done by investing in environmentally friendly energy, making pollution rules stricter, or helping businesses that are kind to nature. For Greenland, this could mean making stricter rules on things like fishing and mining, which harm their ice. Third, every country needs to work together. Climate change is a problem for the whole world, so we need a solution from the whole world. Countries can work together to reduce harmful gases and protect the environment. This could be by making agreements, sharing research and technology, and helping each other to make their countries more climate friendly. Remember, isn't just about saving Greenland, but the whole world. Greenland's huge sheet of ice helps to control the Earth's temperature. If this ice melts, the sea levels can rise, which could flood cities near the coast all around the world. So, the benefits of solving this problem are huge. Together, we can reduce the effects of climate change, not only in Greenland, but everywhere. Remember, every little bit helps. Together, we can make a difference and help save Greenland and, in turn, our world.